Hey guys, how are you doing today? Hopefully good. Today is Saturday the 26th, one day until my birthday. It's tomorrow, but I really don't have any plans or anything like that. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but today I wanted to do a tutorial for you guys and oh, spring is in the air. I just went out um, for a nice little walk and I just really enjoyed the air and we have like breezy air here and in the springtime that is what I kind of look forward to the most is just like that breezy, nice, like fresh air um, that you get in the spring and that kind of led me into the kind of hairstyle that I wanted to wear today. I wanted kind of a loose hairstyle that would kind of flow in the wind and not be inhibited by the wind so if I wore it up I didn't want it to like get messed up and then if I wore it curly like I normally do my most common hairstyle um, I didn't want to have to worry about it getting poofy and like frizzy because sometimes curly hairstyles do not do good in the wind and it's not even that windy outside it's just a little breezy but I don't know I just kind of wanted something different and something springy so what I came up with was this kind of loose lock kind of um I don't know how to call what do you call it just like loose waves I guess and it could go for a summer look as well but um we're just going to call it a spring look because it is spring so one good thing about this hairstyle is there's no heat involved um yeah, there's no heat involved whatsoever, so that's really good. And then part two is it's all natural. And when I say all natural, I mean it's all my hair. This headband is my hair. I braided it. And, yeah, there's nothing else in it except for three bobby pins, but you can't see them. So we're just not going to think that they are, like, an accessory or anything like that because you could definitely add accessories, um... You know, like if you have a flower, I don't have one on me right now, but this headband one. But, like, you could definitely, like, add a flower if you wanted to. That would look so cute. But I kind of wanted to just go, like, all kind of just natural looking, um, no accessories, nothing like that. Although they would look super adorable. You could even embed, like, beads or ribbon or something in the braid. Um, I might try doing that. But for this one, I just kind of wanted a really simple, natural look. So if you want to know how I got this look and how you can achieve it, just keep watching. Okay guys, so the first step is to braid your hair. Now you can do this in multiple ways. You can braid your hair in a French braid, which is what I'm going to do. You can braid your hair in four or five you know, long braids. You could do two pigtail braids, any kind of braids you want. Just braid your hair. And usually I sleep on them overnight, but since today it was kind of a last minute kind of um, look that I wanted to do, um, I didn't have a chance to braid it the night before. So I'm just going to braid it and it's a little bit damp, so it's going to dry that way and hopefully the, the waves and the like crimp will stay better. But I do recommend to braid it the night before if you do want to achieve this look for it to last all day. But like I said, I couldn't do that. So we'll just hope that these waves will stay all day for me. So let's get started. Okay, so now that you have your hair in a braid, just leave it in there. Um, I'm going to do it for a couple of hours, probably, maybe one and a half to two hours. Um, normally, like I said, you do it overnight. You don't have to, like, wait around for it. You know, you just go to sleep and then wake up and you're good to go. But in my case, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to wait a while. So I'll probably just do laundry and stuff around the house and then I'll be back. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so it's been about an hour and 45 minutes and I think I'm ready to take it out. I can't wait any longer. So here is my braid and I'm going to just unbraid it. Okay, so the next part is you have your hair down the way you want it. I have my part semi in the middle, but kind of on the side, and that's where I like it. So what you're going to do next to make the headband is 
put some hair in front of you right here and kind of right here behind your ear you're going to take a chunk of hair and it's the lower level hair not the one that's above here so what you do is you take a chunk of hair I'd say about well depending on how thick you want the the braid okay so you grab your chunk of hair and as you can see it is under my top layer of hair see it's under it so it's like right above the ear right here and what I like to do is kind of twist this hair out of the way because it can get in the way so what you do is going all the way to the end kind of just give me that leverage that I need but I'm sure the length of your hair will vary so if you have shorter hair just just finish the braid off it doesn't really matter as long as it's long enough to go across your forehead okay so there you go I just did it all, almost all the way not fully um there's the braid okay what you're gonna do next is bring your head forward and kind of put your hair where you need to put it where you want to put it now you get your braid and you bring it across your forehead see isn't that cute and what you want to do is pin it right behind your ear so this is where your um, bobby pins come in handy and you just pin it and I use about three to secure it in different d directions just to kind of grab it in different places and then I do one a little behind my ear and there you go it feels pretty tight feels pretty secure now what I like to do after that is bring my hair over and fix you know however you want it higher lower and then fix this side and there you have it that's the end of it and um you know like I said you could add the flower that'd be so cute and flowers are very in this spring so flowers would be awesome you could add beads um, ribbon, glitter, like shimmery ribbon, like it really doesn't matter. But this is the look I was going for. And then I have my waves. Um, of course, they're not too wavy, but like I said, the tighter the um, braids, the crimpier the waves will look. I kind of wanted just the bigger waves kind of to give me that um, like windblown kind of hair. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like this tutorial and let me know if you guys do it. Send um, video responses or pictures, whatever you want. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.